Kevin Ferris and you're watching Vox Sports. Join us as we bring you coverage from the 16th ASEAN University Games right here in Laos. As you can see, I'm right here at the competition venue of the ASEAN University Games. And I heard that our combined uni volleyball team is inside right now training. Let's check in on what they're up to. I'm right here with the volleyball combined uni coach, Mr. Chua Kian Hui. Maybe you want to tell us a bit more about you know, how is the team preparing for the competition? Um, actually, we have trained for quite uh, like one, two months already because of the exams. Then uh, recently, we just have two friendly before we fly to Laos. Yeah, so I think the team is quite prepared also uh, because they have been together for quite some time already. Mm. So I'm pretty sure they have strong chemistry. So that said, how far do you think that the team will go in this competition? Uh, because we are in very strong group things like uh, Thailand and Indonesia so for Thailand is very strong in volleyball so our chance is to like um, try to uh, fight against Indonesia see whether we can make it to second rounds hmm. there you go well more from the other teams as well so stay tuned I have here with me Yong Yao, the captain of the Combined Uni Volleyball team. Hi Yong Yao. Hi. So maybe you want to tell us how is your team preparing for the competition? Uh, we have been training at least once or twice a week before the competition even begin. So basically because our team is uh, a Combined Uni team, so we have trouble actually trying to integrate the teams together. So but through the trainings that we have so far, we are actually making a lot of progress and we are actually quite prepared for this competition. You guys, you know, being grouped with teams like Thailand and Indonesia, how do you motivate your team so that they will spur on and work harder? I have told my team to set their expectations for themselves to do their very best for this competition. So even if we are up, up against very strong teams, we will, no matter, we won't give up. We will strive for every point and we will fight until we, we will fight for every single point. Well, there you go. So more interviews coming up with the other combined uni teams, so stay tuned. And we are just minutes before kickoff for the ASEAN University Games women's football match between Singapore and Thailand. Now let's check in on the coach and see how the team prepares for today's game. Let's go. Hi, I'm here with Coach Kuma, coach of the women uh, Singapore Combined Uni team. Now coach, maybe you want to tell us how is the team preparing for today's game? Okay, we understand that um, Thailand is the hot favourites and they are always good. They are a good team to play against. Okay. Uh, we are going to play a bit more defensive. We're going to start off a bit more defensive. As the game goes on, maybe the formation will change. That's our tactic for today. Lah. What are you hoping to see in your team later for you know, for the whole 90 minutes? What are you yeah. hoping to see for the, in we the need, team? We need hard work. Today is a lot of hard work because Thailand has many skillful players. We have been working at the training ground how to stop these uh, so-called fast players and all that. and. Uh, we have to have possession when we get ball. It's going to be difficult to win the ball from them. When we get ball, we need possession. If we play like that, the game will be alright. Well, we sure hope the game goes well as well. Now, until then, stay tuned and we'll see how the team does.
rather one sided affairs, it seems the score stands at 6 0 at the end of 45 minutes. Thailand dominating each and every part of the game. Now, as the second half gets underway, will Singapore be able to make a comeback or at least get some consolation goals? Well, we'll see. Stay tuned to find out. A few players were outstanding. The keeper did well. If not, the scoreline would be even worse. But the captain played a captain's game. Uh, one or two players who are not doing too well at training actually showed up today and played well. But like you said, uh, Thailand is a powerhouse uh, in girls soccer Southeast Asia. Uh, we expected a hard game, uh, and we, we, I think we could have done better. But defensively, we made many mistakes. Yeah. All right, so I have here with me Joash and Brendan from the Volleyball Combined Uni Team. Now, after training, they were actually juggling the volleyballs. So, you know, it's very unlikely for volleyball players to do that. So, after seeing that, I'm asking them to do the juggling challenge. So, Joash will start first. He will juggle the ball. We will see, uh, you know, the keepy uppy challenge. We will see how many, how many times he can juggle and how many times he can, you know, keep up the ball. And then after that, we'll, fo uh, we'll follow up with Brendan. All right. So Josh, you start first. And that's it for today at the AUG. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and also our website for more updates regarding the ASEAN University Games. Until then, I'm Faris and you're watching Vox Sports.